and it's Curra Finn who are back in the Connacht final once again. They're looking to win it once again. Obviously, they beat Moy Cullen in the Galway final, coming up against Ballina, Stephen Knights in the Connacht semi final, and they beat Ballina by 16 points to 12. Big, big victory for Curra Finn. Gary Sice leading the way at 39 years of age. Outstanding performance by him. And Curra Finn beat Ballina into the Connacht final where they will play against St. Bridget's. Yeah, it's uh, look, they it's 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 this thing again where Kerfin like they uh they kind of have to grind their way through games as well. Get you con they just to get you connect, they'll have a few absolute brawls to get through in connect as well, and then we might see them open up in Croker again. That uh, look, just great to see them back, I suppose. And that like they yeah, they are an older team as well, but just some real like some real talent still on that on in that side as well. And like they're still being led by the key men like Liam Sill, Kieran Malloy, all these lads that they're still. There's still these fellas pushing them onwards as well. Also, interesting, Dahi Burke kind of finally back on the panel anyway for uh, for Curfin yesterday as well. Like, huge addition there. We know how key he was when they went in the runs before. But, like, yeah, no, they, they, they kind of seem to have always, like, a little bit of uh, control in this game and, uh, yeah, managed it really, really well in what could potentially have been, like, a real banana skin. But, like, uh, Bridget's, I do think, will be a... Bridget's is a different... It's a, it's a step up anyway, I think, on Ballina anyway as well. We know what Bridget's can do. They've had they have the pedigree, they have the record and everything as well. So that look, that's gonna be a real tasty uh final. And you know, I'd I know Kerr Finn's record in recent years, but like I do I honestly would say going into that, that's close to being a fifty fifty game. Yeah, no, I think it's an interesting one anyway, because of how much Curafin blasted into the lead. They were eight points to one ahead on 22 minutes. They were 12 after 12 minutes, they were four points to nil ahead. They had the aid of a strong win in the first half, but to be that far ahead after that spell, you would have expected them probably to almost push on and win by more. Ballina pulled back into the game 48 minutes. It was 12 points to stick Frank Irwin and Evan Regan kind of pulling them back in. The crucial spell was when Michael Lundy and Jack McKay pushed Curfin back further in front after that because with 11 minutes remaining, Ballina had pulled the gap back to three points. Like Going into this game against St. Bridget's, obviously we'll touch on the St. Bridget's game against Mohill. Like, we'll just have it up on the screen here. It was 1-7 to eight points in that other game. Is it a step up for Ballina? Would you pick Bridget's to beat Ballina? Yeah, I think so. I, th- I actually, I, I know it's not a great, I know it's not a great lead in for them as well. But I do think you look at Bridget's in recent years that like uh and the Roscommon champions, like you know we know teams coming out of Roscommon, what they've done in Connacht in recent years as well. Like I would say that look Ballon, this is Ballon's first year coming out of Mayo as well. They're always gonna be a little bit like that they're they need to find their feet a little bit in Connacht as well sometimes. I I do think that when it comes down to a final, I think Bridget's will put up a better chest. Like I think that I think her fin do come out on top. Slightly, but like I do think the Bridges put up a better test than uh, like and all like yeah, fair. Uh, you have to ha- put your hands up to to Balna as well. They didn't roll over at all, but they put up really put it up to them as well. But I just think Bridges. I think Bridges are going to run them close enough. I think that's my kind of feeling is that I don't think it's going to be. Uh, I don't think it'll be. A, it'll be a one sided one anyway, where Kerfin have it all their own way. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to run up a lead like that on St. Bridget's like to get n- like nine points or eight points to one ahead the way that they did on Ballina. Look, Ballina got a lot of bad rap for the Mayo final, which was a horrible game of football against Braithy. And I feel like ever since that happened, people kind of been keeping one eye on them and expecting bad performances out of them. Even though they did put Fulham Irish away, people still weren't really convinced so I, I do think, look, Curfin were tipped to win this one, and they did. And obviously that leads them going into the final now against St. Bridges. And we'll touch on the Bridges game now. So they're back in the final for the first time since 2016. And in 2016, they lost to Curfin in that Connacht final. Obviously Curfin were about to go on their extraordinary run of titles. In this game, Curran Sergu struck the crucial score. He goaled halfway through the second half. Mohill led 4-3 at halftime. Dan Sergio's goal propelled Bridget's onto victory. Bobby Nugent's third point of the game put them 1-7 to 5 points ahead with 6 minutes left. Mohill rallied late on with 3 in a row from Keith Byrne, Connor Quinn and Ronan Kennedy. But it wasn't enough. Bridget's held on for victory. Yeah, look, and they brought kind of that 
this defensive discipline as well. So as well, they it was a good performance in that sense. Like they kept the keeper and very very quiet. Like he's like the standout player, and they kind of really they did as good a job as they could shutting them down. Like it's. Yeah, it's just kind of in the Roscom Championship has been an absolute minefield in recent years. And you look at some of the teams that have come out as well, some really, really top, top sides. Like you look at Port Pierce, the Strokes Town, all these teams that have come out of recent years that like the, the Roscom champions really have to earn their way through. And look, they'll be dogged and they'll be ready for it. Like like you said, like Curfin probably be too much star power, star quality for them as well. They're kind of strong in every single position. But no, like, I do like this Bridget side. And I think that. Uh, Look, they'll have a bit of know-how about them, but like it does set up a nice kind of final. If you had to pick one, uh, Curfin, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I, think, no, I will go for Curfin as well. Yeah, yeah, no, look, I think I think it sets up a nice final, but like at the end of the day, like Curfin of the forwards defensively as well. Curfin are underrated defensively too, and that's like you look at the the talent they have there. They don't ship big score lines ever really, and uh, yeah, like the last two performances, they like defensively very very solid like the, the tallies they conceded you'd win most games with that tally so uh yeah now Kerfin. yeah no, i will i will go for Kerfin to win that game but i do think bridget's will give it a good l crack now and i look look at Kerf inside look at gary size look at mike farrer and michael lundy but then even at the back the likes of liam silk dylan McHugh, they are really really strong and there's a danger there with Kerf in that when they get here when they get to the final four, if they get past Parry Pierce's, when they get to the final four, given what they've achieved in the last 10 years, who would write them off going all the way? Yeah, no, look, I think that I think that's probably why that themselves, Kilmacud and the Glen, are the favourites for the All Ireland right now, is that like you know that they will be a different side when they get up to Croke Park and they get them to a wide open pitch. Like they are still the same same side. They're still that running team. We're still with strength there as well. So when they come up to Kroger, they are gonna they're gonna take that jump. Like I'd I'd be very interested to see them and Kilma could play each other. I think that could be uh that could be really tasty. That's then. it, Luke as well. Is that like they're on the opposite side of the draw to Ulster and Leinster. So they're not gonna get Glenn. They're not gonna get Scottstown. They're not getting Kilmuckle Croaks. We'll set up that iron final if they yeah. get through that. Like, because I do think, I think they're that the kind of championship is a good bit ahead of the Munster championship. I think you look at Munster right now, like you've Dingle, you've got, I'd say, Clamell are actually probably the team that I'm tipping at the moment. I think Clamell are the, probably the best team. If you look at them sides, are either of them, do you think they'd be like her fan? I don't think so. So, uh, it, I think it does set up, uh, whoever comes out of I, what looks like it's going to be a Glenn Kilmacud uh, semi-final. 